welcome to our third episode of Space Needle Academy. Today we are broadcasting from the, from our, the namesake of our academy, the Seattle Space Needle in Seattle, Washington. I am Dr. Grace Iwisle and I graduated from Harvard University majoring in mathematics and studying mathematics. I am Professor Katie Frebske. I I graduated from Yale University, where I now teach. I got I ma I majored in the mathematical studies of paper pool, and I got my master's in mathematics. Today we will be studying paper pool. Enough of that. First, we will talk about how paper pool is played. Paper pool is a game, not a very fun game, but still a game. The paper pool table is a rectangle with four pockets or corners. The four pockets are A, B, C, and D. The game starts in pocket A. The ball travels at a 45 degree angle until it lands in a pocket. It will never land in pocket A. We study this game by studying the number of hit times that ball hit across the side of the table. These were called hits. We also studied the, how many diagonal lengths it crossed. This, this we call the diagonal length. We also studied what pocket the ball would land in. Some rules to start off with apply to squares and when the paper pool table, it, the vertical number is double the horizontal number. For squares, the hits will always be two. It will always land in pocket C. And the diagonal length will always be the length of one of the sides. For when the table's vertical number is double the horizontal number, the pocket will always the ball will always land in pocket D. The number of hits will always be three, and the vertical number will always be the diagonal length. Go. And now for our commercial break. Go. Are we there yet? Are we there? Ow! Stop fighting! Come on, Owen! Come on, Lava! Oh no, Brent, you're making Brent as very proud! You terrible kid! Are you tired of your children fighting the backseat of our car? With the new features in our new Chevy, this will not happen. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet, Owen, but um, you need to stop saying that, okay? <laughs> good children, good children. Why well, won't stop throwing your doll? Okay. <laughs> That's they don't understand. Perfect little baby. Be calm and calm, please, children. <laughs> Chevy, let's all be friends. Welcome back. Our next set of rules have to do with the diagonal length. To get the diagonal length, you must multiply the dimensions of the pool table together. Some exceptions to this rule are if the pool table is a square, or if the pool table is vertical length is twice the horizontal length. Action. The next area of focus is the number of hits. One of our rules is that if you multiply the horizontal number by two, then add one, then you will get the number of hits. There are many exceptions to this rule. Some of the exceptions are if the table is a square or if the vertical number of the table is double the horizontal number. Our last set of rules that we discovered while investigating this project are about what pocket the ball falls into. As you know, the three possible pockets for the ball to fall into are B, C, and D. As I said before, the ball will never fall into pocket A. One of our rules is if the paper pool dimensions are even, are even number by one, then the ball will land in pocket B. Also, when the horizontal number is four, the ball will land in pocket B. If the length of the paper pool table is odd and the width is one, then the ball will always land in C. Also, if the table is a square, then the ball will land in pocket C. The last pocket, pocket D, has two rules. The first rule is that if the length of the pool table is even and the width is one, then the ball will land in D. Also, if the vertical length is double the horizontal length, then the ball will land in pocket D. Now that we have finished explaining the rules about diagonal length, the number of hits, and what pocket the ball will land in, the Academy thought it would be interesting to add an extension question onto our findings. We thought it would be interesting to investigate what would happen if the ball started in another pocket. Our conclusion in this investigation was that when the ball starts in another pocket, then the diagonal length and the number of hits will always stay the same, but the pocket in which the ball lands will change. Stop. And now for our commercial break, and when we come back, 
The conclusion of episode three. This regular, not important, horrible, vile breakfast from Captain Lunch is so horrible. Are you not satisfied with your regular, not important, vile breakfast from Captain Lunch? Then you need to try hunting that joyful loads. This breakfast is delicious, yummy, amazing-tastic, and so satisfying. Goodbye, Captain Lunch. I am going to eat Joy Flows from now on. So now my mission is complete. Welcome back. And now it's time for our conclusion of episode three. If you have any questions about what we review today, please email us at smartpeople at spaceneedleacademy.com or visit our website at spaceneedleacademy.com. Wrap it up. The time is almost up. Oh, dear me. Thank you for watching and tune in next time on Space Needle Academy.